Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose. And this is supposed to be a card fold Friday. But I'm changing it up with a project. And I rarely do projects. But this happens to be a project I did for my uh, craft show. And I did it last weekend for the craft show. And this is the one I used. And we're going to do a different one. But it is an apple cider little packet with some cinnamon sticks that I got at Hobby Lobby and broke them in two. And you're seeing the cup here, and it is retired out of Sensational Seasons. So we're going to change it up, and we're going to make it a brand new one. So this is the two that I came up with on current supplies. So you have the Harvest Hello with the apple that you can stick a packet in. So it looks like this. Or you can stick in the cup of cheer and put the leaves on it and do it that way. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to maybe add a stick to it. Let me pull one out. And I just break it in two. And then I just put my twine in here. And I just tie it together. And I'm going to show you how to make this in just a minute. So then you do the twine. Tie it. And then you rope it underneath your uh, twine. And I'm going to tell you in just a minute what the twine is. So I'm doing it kind of a little bit backwards to what. I'm going to take that off. So, put it on, tie it up, and I may have it shorter than I normally have it. Okay. And then, take your twine, go underneath, and then tie it again. There. Now it's like this. And I had a piece of wood grain left. So that's what I used for my strip. And then I'll get him re-glued. But then you've got it. And that kind of came out a little bit cute. So I'll probably put this one out to sell and see what people think of this version of it. So there's that one. And then, of course, you've got this one. And I'll do that later. But you can put the little cinnamon stick in there. And it makes it really cute. All right, now let me lay these off to the side. It is not a hard thing to make. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is very, very easy. And yes, I have a full sheet of cardstock. I want to make sure you're seeing this. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put my arm out. And I'm going to bring it to 8 inches. And I'm going to cut. I don't think it was eight and a half. There. And then I'm going to. I got to get this in here so you see it. I'm going to take it at the diagonal where it's point to point. So now I got to make sure this point and this point are in my grooves. There we go. And then I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to split it. You'll get two of these. So you will make two out of one sheet. Okay, so now that I've got this, I'm going to bring this to at the four point and I'm going to crease it. I'm going to fold it. Okay, then I'm going to move it down and I'm going to bring my arm back out. I'm going to go again to the 8 and I'm going to crease it again. Okay, that's all there is to that part of it. Then, and I want to make sure you are seeing this, I've got a fold here. Okay guys, fold here and a fold here. Okay. 
All right. And I didn't bring my bone folder out, and that would probably be your better debt bet to do that. Okay, so now I folded them there. Now notice the one is a little long over here. That's okay because I have a, um, a rounder here that I've had for years and I just simply use my rounder and I will use my rounder up here. So I'm rounding the top and rounding the bottom. Okay. Now our next step is you need some of that um, double-sided adhesive tape. And I've had this for quite a while and I keep using it. And it comes on like this. So now what you will do is you're going to put it down and across for the inside. And bring it over fairly close to the fold. If you don't get it quite there, that's okay. And then you're going to pull, pull it off. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this over right on it. And then I'm going to take another piece. As you can see, this is gotten real messy in my drawer. I gotta just find my end again. There we go. Then I will take over here and I will probably not quite bring it to the end and then I'll bring it here and I'll fold down and I'm going to take it off Sometimes easier said than done, particularly if you're on camera. It's because I'm trying to keep... There we go. Here it comes. Bring it over, fold it down. Okay. There you go. Then what you're going to do is simply decorate it. Okay, because you're going to put your apple, uh, apple cider pouch right in here. So you're going to decorate it, use the strip, look at these two that I've done that are currants. The cup one I think turned out awfully cute with a couple of, uh, and you're wondering about the um, leaves. They came from the um, Hello, Harvest Hello is where the leaf came from, and the cup was the cup of cheer. So there is that one, and there is this one. So either one will work nicely. And then decorate as you please. And if you want cider sticks, I found them um, um, on sale at Hobby Lobby. Uh, fairly good size package. And you're going to get a lot out of it. Okay, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with another crafting idea of doing something for maybe uh, the holidays as a little something or the harvest time. Um, you can put change it up if you want and do it as a cocoa packet, uh, whatever you want to do. Again, check out my blog, Stampin' Pink Rose, where Stampin' Ideas are always in bloom. As an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I love sharing ideas and helping you create your stamping. Take care and have a great day.